Hey Sabre fans, wanted to make a quick little video for you on the disassembly of a Vader's Vault Hero from Gen 1. I'm sure the same will apply to Gen 2 as well, but let's go ahead and get right into it. So, you'll see here that I have my polished Hero, Gen 1's, completely empty, the chassis is in there. The couple tools you will need, without a doubt, is a large Phillips head and a pair of forceps. These forceps are used for one thing. That is the ring on the inside which holds the LED onto it. So you'll see the threading down in there. This is by far one of the best setups I've seen for a hero as far as LED setups. This is fantastic. It's super low profile and works well. So literally get both the forceps tips in there, twist it off counterclockwise to loosen it keep going and you'll end up with your LED heat sink well your copper LED or your NeoPixel PCB holder which theirs is a custom one I custom made my own as well super low profile should fit in there well you can probably hear my 3d printer going off in the background which is currently printing my revised chassis. <clears throat> now, so we have the LED out of the way. So first thing you're gonna wanna do to completely disassemble this, this doesn't unscrew right here. It's all one piece from this point all the way down. I wanna remove your bottom grenade section. So, you'll see my chassis is loose It's because it doesn't have the battery holder with the battery in it, which that's literally all it is, is an 18650 removable battery holder. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to get a wooden dowel rod or something along the line, something that you can beat on, and you're going to want to place it on either the top or bottom edge of this card and just slowly beat it out. It's usually held in place with a little bit of a adhesive you can kind of see it right there. It's either tape or adhesive. Phillips head. It's really quite an ingenious setup they have for this. I was highly impressed the first time I seen it. And you have your control box and your chassis should slide right out. Of course you'll have to, you know, fiddle around with the wires from the control box and the LED and so you'll have your board here, your recharge port down here, of course, which is everything you can normally see. Uh, the Delrin chassis is nice and solid, as always, but yeah, there will be a removable 18650 here, which I'm glad to see them improving upon in their next design, to where you can actually unscrew it here and change the battery out. Super cool, right? Now the control box is where Vader's Vault really shines. I just love how they did it. So remove the screw, Take the top copper off, and you have this wonderful setup. Now there actually is a little PCB with two 3mm LEDs that slide in there and over this little notch right here, but that's in the other room. But for demonstration purposes right now, I'm just going to show you the switch setup. So it's literally two little machined aluminum pieces two switch inserts for plungers. Let's see if I can get this out of here. Nice and tight fit. You have your switch PCB with both switches on it. Super small tactile. And your 3D printed part. And of course you have your two red and green inserts. They pop right out easy peasy. They're a little difficult to get back in so I'm not going to take them out. So I mean that's really all there is to it. The setup for this is absolutely fantastic if you ask me. I think it's one of the best that I have seen personally so far for a control box setup. And the main reason I am reinstalling this is because I want a 21700 which will be great for NeoPixel and it'll be longer runtime 
because it's 5,000 milliamp hours versus uh, about 3,200 roughly with an 18650. Plus, I want the Profi board. Profi board does not sit well on this Delrin, and it does give you some false clashes if it's not properly seated. Um, actually, here's the chassis right here. I'm reprinting it because I had some other things, but Profi board sits very snug in there. Got a little bit of wire management opening right there. You got your recharge port. Also, this is only for a 28 millimeter speaker, whereas this chassis will house a 31 millimeter. Big old Sabre Essential speaker. Of course, I'll have to modify these tabs a little bit. That way, it'll sit flush because, you know, obvious reasons. Typical lightsabers, you always got to modify something for it to work the way you want it to. But one thing I noticed with this Delrin chassis, you'll notice the height difference. Major height difference. It's because literally the 18650, look at it this way, it doesn't even go all the way up through the grenade section. Like this ends right around this area. So it does not properly utilize all of the space necessary, whereas my chassis will. Still have plenty of room for the profi board, reprogram it, pull it out, get SD card access, recharge port, 31 millimeter speaker. Beautiful. Feels pretty solid even without the um, screw going down into the chassis. That is one thing I really like that they did with their setup is the fact that this screw goes down into this hole. It's fantastic. There's a lot of things I love about how they did their hero. I mean it's just hate to fanboy out but they really did do a fantastic job. But I hope this video helped anybody who needed it. I didn't see any videos out there for a um, disassembly. Whenever I first upgraded my a uh, commissioned Vader's Vault Hero to a Profi, I had no idea how to take it apart. I was like, well, I'll figure it out. You know, I tried undoing these screws on the side. I was like, well, uh, that didn't work at all. Literally just the plate came off and that was it. I was like, well, that sucks. Back to the drawing board, and then I found good old Jordan Eugene's video of SoCal Sabres. That guy is super helpful, super smart, and he said to remove that. This is literally everything that holds everything in place. Once you remove that, you're good to go, man. You can snip all the wires off and just pull out the entire chassis. All you'll have to do is rewire everything like the switches and the LEDs and you're good to go but yeah hope this video helped and until the next time may the force be with you always